From back to bed. Give me a minute. You get 20 seconds. Duration of the seizure? A little over three minutes. Does your phone have a history of epilepsy? She never said. My name is Dr. Cameron. You're in a hospital. We're going to take care of you. What's her name? I don't know. Empty, transient sex. I've been waiting for you to spiral out of control ever since you got your hunting nids diagnosis. But this is more than I dared hope for. Patient seizure resulted from dehydration, which resulted from a cocktail of alcohol and ecstasy. Mystery solved. Wait, were you doing drugs? Not diagnostically relevant. That's what we're trying to diagnose. It's how steep of a spiral you're on. Our patient hemorrhaged into her eye two years ago. Also not diagnostically relevant. Retinal vein occlusion was fixed. Her doctor said it was a venous anomaly. Is he in this room? Because if he's not, I don't care what he thinks. Unless he's a she and she was there last night too, in which case I care very deeply. What if the eye problem wasn't with her vein, but with her blood? It would explain why she sees, why she's always tired. She parties till 3 a.m. That's why she's always tired. Yet you seem fine. She's visited four other doctors in the past year. None of them found anything. She's a hypochondriac who drank too much. Blood clots could explain everything. Makes sense. Bone marrow's in overdrive, too many platelets. Sorry. 13. Go stick a needle in your girlfriend's pelvis. And no, that one wasn't a metaphor. Suck out some marrow. That one was. I like to watch. I can handle this alone. You've already handled it. That's why you need a chaperone. Of course, I'm a very permissive, understanding chaperone. So feel free to ignore me. You know, if you're in the mood to start kissing or groping or showering. You'll have to excuse Dr. House. He mistakes immaturity for edginess. You're Dr. House? I assume my name came up last night in the form of a moan. You had sex, then a seizure could be particular position or activity that set it off. It sounds like a valid medical theory, doesn't it? I'm really sorry. Just ignore him. Whatever you think we did, we, we did. And then some. Lights on or off? A medical rationalization for that one? Light sensitivity. Good. On. Huh. Figured she had more shame than that. Did she talk dirty or make you rely on vague hand signals? She's uh, pretty direct about what she wants. I'm learning so much. Okay, score the score. Scale of one to 10. Don't answer. Seven. Finally got one right. Should have known it wasn't a coincidence. Found your letters. You recognize House's name, and you're the first patient I've seen who actually enjoyed being accosted by him. I would have told you, but. What exactly would you have told me? That you slept with me to get to House? That you've been trying to get him to take your case for over a year? I'm sick. No one even wrote back. You used me. You used me. My motives were clear. You might have figured out my motives faster if you'd bothered to ask my name. I followed you to that bar because I wanted to talk to you, see if you'd help me get to house. I didn't expect you to be so aggressive. Was that seizure even real? Why would I fake a symptom? It would just make it harder for house to diagnose me. There's nothing to diagnose. Your biopsy results are negative. Then it's something else. Get dressed. I'm discharging you. House admitted me. He obviously thinks. House is using you as an excuse to stick his nose in my personal life. I'm tired all the time. Some nights I fall asleep at 10 and wake up at noon, still tired. Every doctor I see tells me there's nothing wrong. And that proves what exactly? That they're wrong or that you're wrong? <gasps> <gasps> Come on, you expect me to believe. <laughs> Sit back, deep breaths. Try and relax. Get the paddle, she's gonna crash. Damn. 